And now it's time for another St. Louis 7 following an episode on OT with Oliver, wherever you get your podcast. This one's a great one. Slew Billiken, all-time great, Anthony Bonner. Anthony, we talked about Vashon. We talked about Slew. We talked about the NBA. Talked about a lot of things. I enjoyed it very much. Before we get started, tell people what they should know about Truth Turned Up. Well, Truth Turned Up is a ministry that God has allowed me to form, to come forth in the last 12 years and be uh, blessed to do international ministry as well as ministry throughout the United States in prisons, high schools, universities, on Wall Street, in churches, just empowering people, equipping people to uh, overcome and to rise up in the face of circumstances or situations that look final or fatal to give them hope that there is a way, and Jesus Christ is that way to overcome any obstacle that's trying to keep you from fulfilling the purpose that he's ordained for your life. No time needed more than the present. Yeah, I agree. You know, we, we look at uh, situations through a narrow lens, but, you know, sometimes the worst times can be the very best times because those times can slow you down. They can give you a new perspective. They can... Uh, allow you to experience a resurrection which may have been waiting for you to uh, uh, embrace it, but you kept running away from it because human nature loves to stay comfortable and unchallenged. I like your crown. Yeah, that's part of the, 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 the deal, man. My father, God, is the king of kings and being his son, I too am a king, so I, this is my crown that I wear, representing the kingdom of God. A.B., good stuff, man. Number one, here we go, St. Louis 7. You went to Vashon. What do you remember, and was it fun? State championships, man. Running out, winning games, representing the city, representing our high school, and just beating people like they stole something. Graduated from SLU, number one scorer, number one rebounder, number one steals. What was it like to have your jersey retired? Again, man, it's like getting drafted. You, don't, you play basketball because you love it. You play because there's an opportunity. You never think about your jersey being retired. You never think about being the all-time leading scorer, all-time anything. You know, that requires staying healthy. That requires being productive. That requires uh, a great relationship with your coach and the teammates. And I just thank God that all those things fell in place for that to happen. When you come back to St. Louis and you go to Ted Drews, what do you get? Oh, man, the concrete blizzard upside down. Do people in Georgia run stop signs as much as we do in St. Louis? I would say even more so because Georgia is very rural. A lot of people think that Georgia consists of only Atlanta, which it does not. Georgia is a very rural state, so there's a lot of places that are uh, the police are not as present. So there's a lot of stop sign and stop light running going on. You've been everywhere, seen a lot of things. Do you have a favorite concert? A favorite country? Concert. Concert? Um, i tell you who I did see. Uh, I saw Luther Vandross in concert many, many years ago when he was alive and I saw him on three occasions. And it was simply magical each and every time. He was so talented and just so entertaining. It was amazing. When your friends ask you about St. Louis, what do you tell them? I tell them that St. Louis is home. That is the place where Anthony Bonner was born and raised and formed. And uh, it's no different than any other place. It has good places. It has bad places. It has good people. It has bad people. But it's a place if you get an opportunity that you should see because you want to broaden your horizons as much as you can and visit as many places as you can. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap this up. St. Louis 7, if you like this episode, lots of other St. Louis 7s on YouTube. Just go ahead and Google OT with Oliver if you want to hear more about what AB had to say. His podcast episode is on OT with Oliver wherever you get your podcast. Anthony, we have touched on this in various ways Here's the best way I think I can kind of sum it up with a question. What makes you proud to be a St. Louis? Um, I think more than anything else, because I didn't choose it. That's the place where uh, it was ordained for me to be born, to be raised, to be formed. And the greatest thing about being a St. Louis, and as I tell people all the time in ministry, is 
I am from Missouri, which is the show me state. We don't do a lot of talking. We're about demonstration. Everybody can talk, but when you come from St. Louis, you got to put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> stay good, stay healthy, man. You too, brother.